Hi, in today's video we're going to talk about door speakers. Door speakers are the entry door stations that are usually on the front porch of your house and they're connected to your Newtone intercom speaker or Newtone intercom system. This is a door speaker. A door speaker is very simple. You have a decorative panel. Some models of door speakers have doorbell buttons, some don't. And on the back of the faceplate is a speaker cone. Newtone speaker cones are always three and a half inch diameter. Early speaker cones are 3.2 ohm impedance. The most common ones after that are 16 ohm speaker cones and the current models use 45 ohm speaker cones. I received an email from Kathy today and she said that she has an IM3303 system and they've lost communication to the front door speaker and what could cause that? There are two likely causes. The most common problem with door speakers are the speaker cones themselves. Early speaker cones use paper cones. This is a later speaker cone starting around 1990. They used plastic. Early speakers that have paper cones, the paper tends to rot away from weather and sun and rain and also bugs get into the wall housing and they like to eat away the paper. That causes them to fail. More modern ones, the plastic cones seem to last for a long time. However, inside the speaker is a coil. It's the voice coil and that's usually what fails. So it's kind of the anatomy of a door speaker. You have the speaker cone, whether it's paper or plastic. This little piece in the center is a dust cap. It keeps dust out of the voice coil, which is in the center of the cone. You have a metal frame or cage. You have a magnet on the back and terminals to attach wires. The voice coil is inside the center of the magnet. Let's take a quick look at how that works. So here's a drawing of a speaker cone, and it's very simple. You have the cone itself, which is the V-shaped portion, and it's made out of either paper or plastic. This large rectangular box at the bottom is actually the magnet. And at the bottom of the speaker cone, it drops down into a rectangular piece. It's actually round because it fits inside the round magnet and wrapped around this part is the voice coil. The voice coil is a series of very fine wires that are wrapped around and around and around the bottom of the speaker cone. And then there are terminals that connect to the voice coil. And that's where the wires attach that come from your intercom master station. The way the speaker works is electricity flows through the wire from your master station through the voice coil which turns it into an electromagnet. It creates a magnetic force which pushes against the magnetic force in the magnet and it causes the speaker cone or the diaphragm to vibrate and that's how the sound comes out. This little purple portion right here is the dust cap and the dust cap's job is to keep dust out of where the voice coil is. There's also a little flexible diaphragm on either side to help seal off the opening in the magnet. What generally happens with outside speakers when they fail and it's not a problem with something having happened to the speaker cone itself, it's usually the very fine wires in the voice coil one of them has broken and that creates a loss of continuity in the circuit therefore the coil won't energize anymore which means it can't repel against the magnet and the speaker doesn't work no sound will come out of it this is the most common cause of why outdoor speakers fail the other thing that can cause your door speaker to stop working are problems with the wires which are here and here these are the wires that would go back to the terminal board behind your master station and these are the terminals for the door speaker 
and these wires simply travel back and connect to those terminals. If along their path something has happened to the wires and one or both of them have become broken or cut, you lose the connection with the speaker cone and the speaker cone won't work. Or if you have a short circuit in the wire where both of the wires as they travel along from the master station to the door speaker, if they've rubbed through on a staple or something else that's sharp and they've shorted together, that disables this circuit and you won't be able to communicate with the door speaker either. So speaker cones are number one problems. Wiring would be number two problems. I think it's easier to show you how to test the speaker in your door station on the bench instead of drawing it up on a whiteboard. So what you'll need to test your speaker cone in your door speaker is a multimeter. Multimeter has a resistance reading, it's ohms. And if you're not familiar with that, if you buy a multimeter, it will explain in the pamphlet how to use it. To test the speaker cone, all you have to do is remove the door speaker from where it's installed on your front porch. When you do that, there'll be two or four wires connected to it. There'll be two wires connected to the speaker cone, and there'll be an additional two wires on the doorbell button if your door speaker has a doorbell button. You'll need to disconnect the wires from the speaker cone to test the speaker. You don't have to disconnect the wires from the doorbell button unless you're testing the wires to the chime module also. But to measure the impedance or the resistance of the speaker cone, the wires have to be disconnected. It's always a good idea to label the wires as you take them off or simply take a picture of it with your camera phone before you disconnect the wires so you can refer back to it later on to see where they went. After you've disconnected the wires, I'll show you how to test and measure the speaker cone to see if it's good. If you're testing the wiring, we have another video that we've made that covers the fundamentals of checking wiring for intercom systems. It's in our fundamentals playlist and I suggest you review it. The beginning part deals with two conductor wiring, which is what you're dealing with when you're doing door speakers. Let's test the speaker cone. This is a used Newtone front door speaker cone. It's not that old because it has the plastic cone or diaphragm. So let's take our meter. Again, we'll check to make sure the meter is working correctly. And it is. So we put one test probe on one terminal of the speaker and the other test probe on the other terminal. And if the speaker is good, this is a 16 ohm speaker, the meter should read roughly 16 ohms. So when I touch the second probe, I don't get a beep and the meter still shows over limit, which is the same as infinity, which means this speaker has a failed voice coil. Inside the magnet, this is the magnet, down on the bottom of the diaphragm is the voice coil, and this speaker has a bad voice coil. So this is now trash and needs to be replaced. So here's a modern replacement. You'll notice that it looks almost the same, except it has a black anodized metal frame instead of a gold one. Still has a plastic speaker cone or diaphragm. And two terminals on the back. Now we'll test this. One probe on one terminal, second probe on the second terminal, and we get a beep, which means that we have continuity, and the meter is reading 14.3 ohms. So that's how you test a speaker cone. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. If you find that our other videos are helpful also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribing to our channel raises our search rankings on YouTube, which simply means more people will find our videos and we'll be able to help them also. Thanks for watching. See you next time.